Let's go. For an F1, fractions, explain why a fraction A over B is equivalent to another fraction using fraction models. Yesterday we had a model that looked like a rectangular cake. Today the model is going to be a number line. Let's set it up. There's all of our marking materials, which is more than enough. Now to change it up, let's keep this as simple as possible. Okay? When you feel overwhelmed, cover up as much <clears throat> as much information as possible. Like that. Now let's just focus on one part at a time, and then I'll pull away the index cards. First off, which number line shows that 1 over 4 is equal to 2 over 8? First off, what is a number line? These are number lines. Okay, so if you didn't know what a number line is, all it is is a line with numbers on it. And you know what? I do not see a lot of numbers. I only see a zero and a one. Now, this year you will see a lot of number lines. So we will do a lot of practice with number lines. Let's write out some information on the side. So to attack this number line system, I'm gonna write number line steps. Step one. Okay, what's the first thing that we are going to do? Number one, find the whole number circle it what do I mean I see whole number zero whole number one whole number one whole number one whole number one now right away I hope that you see that the ones are all in different spots and immediately that should tell you that every single one of these number lines is different. Oh wait, mistaken. The one is here and the one is here. Okay, so one's here, one's here. So these two are very similar, but B and C are different already. Okay, so we did that, step one. Let's go to step two. Since we are dealing with fractions, we have 1 over 4 is equal to 2 over 8. Now right away, if I write this out bigger, I know that 1 times 2 is 2, 4 times 2 is 8. So these two are exactly the same. So these are equivalent fractions, but we need to prove it on a number line. All right, so we found where the whole number, which is only 1, we found on the number line, step 2 Count total hops to the one. Keywords total hops. This will be the bottom number, also known as the denominator. Okay. I'm going to write denominator. which we learned from yesterday. So let's go to it. Here's what I mean by the hops. So you can see it in a different color, count total hops to the number one. Okay, so forget about the dots. We'll worry about that later. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight there are eight total hops on this first example problem a notice how we need to get to eight okay let's go to this next one wow there's only one hop that was it okay there's not eight look one hop 
to get the whole number one. Okay, so that would mean what something like this. I don't know. We'll worry about that later. Okay. C. Total hops. One, two, three, four, five. So for this number line, five is going to be the denominator because there are five total hops to the whole number one. Let's go down here. Notice how this one was the same? There should be eight hops to this one. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Just by this alone, seeing that the bottom number, the total number of hops is eight for D and A would already make me think that these are the possible correct answers. All right. We'll go back to that. Let's go to step three. Count hops on top to the dot. We'll change up the color and we'll do this in blue. And this is going to be your numerator or the top number. I'm just going to put top number, also known as the numerator. I know that's kind of cut off. Gosh. Oh, well. Okay, so let's go this one. One, two. Two hops. So I'd put two over eight. Two hops to that dot. Let's go down here. Oh, one hop. One divided by one is one. So every single one of these, this would probably be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This number line is just one whole number for every one. So let's do process of elimination. And this one is nowhere on our radar. Get rid of B. Right now it's looking like A is correct because we have two over eight and two over eight. Let's go to C. Again, step three right here. Count the hops on top to the dot. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, that dot is right on the whole number one. Okay, that makes sense. Five divided by five is one. Any number divided by that same number is one. Okay, but we're not looking for one. We're looking for two over eight. So, process of elimination, C is incorrect. Let's go all the way down to D. D is very similar to A. There are eight hops on the bottom to get to the whole number one. Let's see how many hops are on the top. One, two, three. One, two, three. I have three over eight. Well, let's look back at the original question. Which number line shows that 1 over 4 is equal to 2 over 8? This is the only one that has 2 over 8. That's it. The only one. So it has to be A. This one's 3 over 8. So correct answer is A, not D. Now, if you're wondering, how does that work? Watch this. Now, this might look a little wild, but sometimes we get a little wild. I am covering... some of the lines on there. See that? Watch this. How do we know that two over eight is equal to one over four? Because it's just like this. Look, one, two, three, four. If we would take out these lines where these markers are at, we get one over four. Look at this. I take that one out. I take that one out. I take that one out. Whoops. And I take this one out. Okay. You could also do your number line just like that. So we just proved it visually. There it is. One over four is equal to two over eight. That's your answer, A. I hope this helps. That was very thorough. We took a lot of time. Again, students can do this probably once they get the hang of it. They could probably knock this out in 10 or 20 seconds. It's pretty straightforward. You find the whole number, which in this problem was number one. You count the total hops, which will be the denominator, also known as the bottom number. 
And then you count the hops on the top, which is the numerator. And whichever number line, which was A, represents two out of eight, well, the dot is right there and it works out. And that's your answer. That was fun, way too much fun. Another one will come tomorrow. Take those awesome notes. See ya.